Hello everybody and welcome to Happy Handwriting. Before we start any handwriting exercise, it's always a good idea to do your lazy eight. You can do it in the air, big and small, on doodle paper, on the tiles or just on regular A4 paper. Also, we are going to be adaptable and aspirational bears today. Also, that's very important to sit up straight with our legs at a 90 degree angle, feet flat on the, on the ground, and the pencil grip is just as important. Make sure you hold your pencil correctly. The next one is going to be our long ladder family letters. That's what we're going to do today. So, some of the long ladders, ladder letters are U, I, and T. The letter names are L, I, and T. For that, you will need to know your letter rhyme. Down is long legs. Down the insect's body, dot for the head. Down the tower. Across the tower. Let's see where else we can practice it. Listen to this video clip. Today we're going to practice some of the long ladder family letters. Before we start, do a few crawling exercises. Crawl like a bear and jump up and down, and then you start doing your lazy at first. Start with a dot in the middle, then go left, up, down, and repeat. Practice this quite a few times. So, let's look at our handwriting lines. This is the top bit. It's the sky. And then the middle line is the grass. And the bottom line is the ground. So, for the long ladder family that we're going to practice today, it would be L. Oh, say the letter rhyme as you do it. Start in the sky. Go down, so down his long legs, tiny feet. Let's try the E for insect. Insects love staying on the ground. This one is a bit skew. Down the insect's body, dot for the head. Also remember the insect has tiny feet. Let's go again. Down the insect's body, dot for the head. And the T is all oh, the princess in the tower. Down the tower. Don't forget the steps. Across the tower. Down the tower. Don't forget the steps. Across the tower. So as you can see, the T goes only halfway into the sky. And there's nothing underground. Have a go. You can practice this on the tiles on the floor, on the wall, in your book. But remember, draw your sky first, then your grass, and then the ground. When you're finished, I have a good idea. You can do your lazy eight again. And when you've sprayed it, you can wash it with your sponge. Also in the Lazy 8 movement. Have a look. Fantastic. There you go. Now, let's have a look what it's like Practice on paper. Some of the long ladder family letters. Before we start, you need to color the sky blue and the grass green and the ground brown. Carry on until you fold the whole page or quite a few lines so that you have enough space to practice. Now let's start our first letter and see 
if it has to start in the sky or on the ground, or on the grass or underground. Before we start, open the crocodile's mouth and munch the pencil. Open the crocodile's mouth and munch the pencil. Ready to write. Let's see. Down his long legs, tiny feet. See, this one, the owl, started in the sky on the blue. Let's look at the eye or the I sound. <clears throat> Starts on the grass, down the insect's body, top for the head, down the insect's body, tiny feet, top for the head. Do not forget, insects love the grass. Let's go to the letter T, the T. Oh, this one starts halfway down, not in the sky, halfway down. Let's go. Down the tower, don't forget the steps, across the tower. So this letter, the T, is halfway in the sky and the rest is on the ground, oh, on the grass, and nothing underground. So the U, I, T, nothing under the grass, nothing underground. Everything starts from the top. Would you like to have a go? Now you can try that. This is a fun activity that you can try to practice forming your letters from the top to the bottom and then stop. Let's have a look. Okay, we are going to practice um, the long ladder letters L, I, T, U, J and Y. To do this we are going to practice movements from top to bottom, top to bottom and stop. The reason we're doing this is because more, all the alphabets always start from the top and so we are going to try to get the children to reinforce this motion so they can form their long ladder letters correctly. To do this, this is our final product, this is what we are aiming for. To do this we will need a transparent laminated sheet with the shapes cut out and we can use an um, exacto to cut the shapes out. We will need card, you can have colored card or plain card. We will need different colors of paint just to make it interesting for the children. Have little containers to put the paint in and we will need sticky tape. To begin with, take your laminated sheet with the shapes cut out and stick it onto your card at the four corners only, okay? Let the children now dip their fingers into the paint and move top to bottom, top to bottom, and stop. Top, bottom, up, stop. Top, bottom, up, stop. Keep doing this multiple times to reinforce the movement. It is important to keep turning the paper so that the shape is always vertical and that they keep reinforcing the top, bottom, and top movement. And make sure that they clearly lift their hand up every time they finish one movement, just so. Top, bottom, top, lift. Top, bottom, top, lift. Once all the shapes have been colored in, peel the tape off from the corners, and you can stick the card onto a bigger black A4 card, just to give it a nice frame, and this is what the children will end up with. Have fun with your practicing of your long ladder letters.